Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. If you go to the Lord, lift up your hands and give him praise. Yes, if you go to the Lord, lift up your hands and give him praise. Hallelujah, you may be seated. The Bible said in uh, Genesis 49, 10, he said, a scepter shall not depart. Let me look for it. Let me look for it. Hallelujah. The scepter. Anybody remember that verse? Genesis 49 verse 10. Shall not depart from Judah, nor a Lord give her from between his feet until Shiloh come, and unto him shall the gathering of the people be. The scepter here represents or the government authority leadership amen it said it shall not depart from judah and we know jesus came from judah now a lord give her from between his feet until shiloh comes shiloh is the messiah shiloh is jesus Amen. Glory to God. I praise God for all of you. There's a lot to say. A lot, 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 lot to say. And I praise God for all of you and your faithfulness. Hallelujah. You know, glory to God. A lot of stuff going on. Don't, don't wait for number one or number two or number three right now. There's too much to talk about. And right now, the government of the the leading country of the world is is now experiencing what they call impeachment because they don't understand you see they're in the dark glory to god what i have to say they can't handle it is the whole world impeach in 30 days everybody realize what i'm saying it don't matter which side you're on Glory to God. Some folks, their shoes has been impeached. Shiba Kiba. You don't understand the world thing. You have to understand the world. Don't talk if you don't understand it. Ask questions and pray. Glory to God. And don't culturalize it. Amen. And you can't be on both sides. The Bible says in Isaiah 42, 19, it says that the, the servants will be blind. You want to check it for me? That's what it said. It said, who is as blind as my servant? You cannot afford to not know the meaning of this. Or you, 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 you're going to be stumbling into walls. No. You're going to be punching and think what you're punching is if you, if you don't get this clear if you don't understand what just happened in, in the number one country in the world ask God to tell you don't go talk because you, you, you will drop off a big ship in the sea and think you're just walking and say okay come on somebody glory to God hallelujah I praise God for all the leaders of this Great church leaders, amen. Bishops, the apostles, amen. My sweet baby wife, amen. Glory to God. And all the other leaders who are standing in the gap, amen. And all those who have been giving and giving. And giving and giving and giving and giving in the midst of challenges hallelujah I praise God hallelujah you know glory to God are you praising God at me hallelujah go ahead and do it go ahead go ahead and praise him with me go ahead go ahead and praise him with me my God, my God, my God, my God, on, 
on, on the, the, at the beginning of December, about December 4 or 5, I believe it's 5, but it's one of them, the Lord showed a, a revelation. And in the revelation, one of the most awful flood was revealed. Awful, it's so awful. Awful. And then, and then after it was revealed, the very next revelation, the Lord said, gather the people. The Lord said, gather the people. One of the, one of the most, what word did you use? Stunning or, you know, dreadful instruction. Gather the people. Gather the people. And because of that, that's what we have been saying. That's what we have been saying. That's what we have been preaching. And praise God, we have the great gathering which uh, is happening, you know, right now it's happening in Atlanta. And we had made an announcement that the great gathering here in New York would be moved up to, to, to December 25, but it won't be. The Lord has clarified. You have to be willing to make adjustment. The Lord has clarified doesn't need to yeah we will all be paying attention to the great gathering in atlanta all the way down to december 31 and as many of you can, who can't go i pastor, you need to go down there put your feet on there everyone need to put your feet on there your feet will never be the same it will never be the same if you say you're broke so you can't buy the ticket you're gonna come back not broke Glory to God. Because you're walking in the revelation. My God, my God. You are vessels of a revelation. What God is doing right now is doing it on you. So don't be afraid. So we have been speaking, gather the people, gather the people, gather the people, gather the people. Turn with me to Joel chapter 2. And there's a lot to say. There's a lot to say. There's a lot to say, but we, we, we just got to stay with the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Somebody say, gather the people. Now, when the Lord gave that revelation, what, what moved me mightily is that it's right in the Bible. It's right there. The exact words. If you can get there, you can probably start to read it with me. Joel 2, verse 16, anybody there? Read it me if you can. Come on. One, two, three, let's go. Gather the people. Wow. It's right there, right there, right there, right there. He said, gather the people. My God, my God, my God. Then it says something after that. It says something after that. What did it say? It says, sanctify the congregation. Amen. Are you ready to gather? 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 Let me see your hands if you're one of those people God is talking about. Hallelujah. Gather the people. Gather yourself first. Amen. Gather the people gather yourself gather yourself gather yourself gather yourself glory to God do not <laughs> evaluate it by the mind by the flesh stay in the spirit I have to be checking myself too. amen glory to God someone said gather the people then it says sanctify sanctify the congregation lift your hands if you are the congregation come on now yes glory to God he says sanctify sanctify doesn't mean to perfect sanctify means to get to a place to have power over sin amen don't make, don't make the mistake it means you always want to do better some of you need to sanctify your marriage. Oh, glory to God. You didn't hear what I said? You must know that you can't, you can't break again. 
Come on. Anytime you begin to, to, to test your wife about leaving, you have a disease. Go on in your And because she wants to stay in the marriage more than you, you begin to manipulate her with the word witchcraft on her. I soon leave. I soon take my child and go. You must sanctify your marriage so that you know no matter what happens when you're 99 and you're bending. Come on. You hold on with your little finger. Ah, trembling. Come on. Some of you can't take it because you're playing that witchcraft game on your wife. On your husband. Every minute, every minute, I soon go. Naughty talk. Man, they care about Asada Bakaya. Raka, Nakada. You forget that when they get saved, you're married to Jesus. Play that game with him now. Play it with him. I soon leave. So I told them since we that. So I'm going to walk out of here while I'm preaching. Some of you try it this evening. Try it. Some of you get the people. About just scattering. Talking about scattering in your house. Wordless. You know words? His words create the earth. You deal with your with your naughty talk. And take yourself big. You can probably have a little notch more than your husband. Because you're a citizen and you're filing for him. I'm telling you, somebody's going to run out of here. I'm not going to fail God. I need to die last night. So I'm not going to fail God. Glory to God. I'm not going to fail God. Amen. Glory to God. Somebody say, gather the people. Gather the people. Sanctify congregation. Sanctify that which is good. And quit that small talk. Quit that manipulation. Quit that manipulation of your church. I'm talking of this army right now. Because my job is the body of Christ. Quit that naughty talk. You must make a decision to go to the end to can handle it. You're not gonna make, I'm telling you from now. <laughs> if you don't make the decision that you're going to be with your wife 80 years from now, you're not going to make it. Remember I told you that. Amen, amen. Remember you were one. That's how we go. That's how we go. Sanctified. Sanctified home. Amen. Sanctified marriage. Yes. Lord of God. Lord of God. How do you sanctify? Let me just how do you sanctify? The first the thing you do is reflect. 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 Love to reflect. Some folks have no mercy because they don't reflect. Anytime you find that you don't have any mercy, just get a mirror and look in it. You're not far from what you don't have mercy about. I can show you in the Bible, you're doing the same thing that you don't have mercy about. And if it's not you, it's somebody in your rear view, not far behind, who need the mercy. Make it up. It's in the Bible, you haven't got through it. The very same thing, say, oh, he should die. Oh, she's finished. Oh, she has no future. Huh? Look in the mirror. You finish nobody. You finish nobody. I see you finish nobody. All when they finish themselves, you don't finish them. All when they finish themselves, glory to God. God know all who go into heaven. You know, <laughs> you, know what, you don't want to hear nothing. God know all who go in the backslide. God know all who gonna gonna curse out their church. God know, all, but he don't treat it that way. No, he don't treat it that way. He says you gonna do it yourself. 
is always there. Because when you do it, you're going to do it in spite of you being there. That's why we pastors, we must learn to be there. No matter what, what they do, we be there. When they step out and destroy themselves, you won't be blamed. <laughs> you are always there. You are always a prodigal father. Come on, somebody. You are always a prodigal mother. That when they fail and be lost, they'll be more damned because your hand was dear. And he said, let me go. Let me die. That's all you do. You, you don't push them. You don't do that. You always try to hold them. And drag it out. They will never blame God. Come on, Sean. That's why God said, judge, but his hand is outstretched. That's all you do it, Pastor. No matter you preach hard, as you finish preach hard, the harder preacher of a softer heart. Most people don't know that. Come on, somebody. Someone say, gather the people. <laughs> Sanctify the congregation. Reflect, reflect, reflect. Look on yourself. Look on your relative. Look on your son. That you're ready to destroy that young man. But remember, you have son. You're looking in on him. He's in the back, smiling. He's only seven. <laughs> but he's, he, too, he soon turns 17. And get accused. You can't watch him day and night, 24-7. When I get up, leave, leave your husband. Remember, you have a brother. <laughs> you, know, you don't want anything real. Most of what we're doing in the pulpit, you think we're preaching? We're not trying to suit you. That's so what the Bible says. <laughs> you're not going to like this. Most people blame the preacher that, that is their preaching false doctrine to, to the congregation. The Lord told me, <laughs> the preacher is half and the congregation is half. Is they turn the preacher into a worldly preacher? You want the scripture? The Bible says they will heap unto themselves. You know what they're teaching you? Teachers have to, is they heap them. That's why you see the ten that thousand. That man teach. Why teaching? Why teaching? Guys, 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 guys. Huh. I wonder how, how, how so much people could go and if someone is grace, 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 G, then R, then A, then C, then E, then E, then C, then A, then R, then G, then R, then C, then G, then E. I don't know so much people. Ha! He didn't draw them. Is they draw him? <laughs> is they go and search for an itching? Here's heretic. So we warn you. <laughs> Come on, we don't have time to go in there. So much to get at the people. So you reflect, and after you reflect, after you reflect, after you reflect, you repent. You repent. Yeah, repent. Don't just change. Some people just say, no. Come on. Some, someone say sanctify. Someone say sanctify. Someone say sanctify. Someone say sanctify. The congregation. Repent. It's not just change. You must say something. Come on, somebody. You must say something to speak. Say, I, I no longer do this. Come on, somebody, glory to God. You must declare that you are no longer there. It's like when you get saved, you don't just come in and, and just, you know, put on a tie. Come on, somebody, glory to God. You got to repent, baptize, receive in the fellowship. Come on, somebody here. Glory to God. 
Glory to God. Number three, you must renounce. Renounce, renounce. There, there are some things that have been attached to you. Glory to God. <laughs> and you have to reno uh, renounce it. Renounce means you publicly declare in a part of it. Any, div any divination, any witchcraft, hmm? any form of oh, false religion, black Jew, Islam, Hinduism, witchcraft, burning candles in the past, don't just change. It will follow you for the next 20 years. You got to renounce it. Come on. Come on. Someone say sanctify. Someone say sanctify. You got to renounce it. If you are manipulating your wife, you have to renounce it. For that's witchcraft. Huh? If you are manipulating your husband, you got to renounce it. This one you don't renounce in church, you renounce it to your wife. Oh, Renounce it to your husband. Say, I'm sorry, dear. Uh, I will not do it again. I'm not that type. Come on, I'm at a runabout type. Come on, and treat my type. Come on, so I'm not like that. I don't know what come over me. I will not do it again. Renounce anything that's beyond the normal bad behavior of the huh? We only hear about we only hear about generation curse. We, we don't hear about generation blessing. Generational curse eh, due to the fourth and fifth generation, generational blessing. Let me tell you something about generational blessing. Because your husband, mother, is a prayer warrior. She ba -ba 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 -ba. All when you do wrong, you're covered. Come on, somebody here. And because you're covered oh, all these years, oh, you want to treat, you know that some people don't go to church and they're still all right because their, their husband, grandma, is a prayer warrior and a church goer. So they receive the cover. So because they have the cover and they don't go to church, they don't go to church, you know. <laughs> So they think they can do and go to church. Come on, somebody, and still be all right. But why the Bible talk that God will curse your blessings? <laughs> so just as though you have, oh Lord of God, generation curse to four and five generation. If you if you if your great grandma was a prayer warrior, you can be a bad. My God of mercy here, no man. You can become a wicked, how oh, could you become a wicked? And, and, and your, 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 your great grandma or your grand-in-law or whatever was a prayer warrior. How oh, could you become so wicked? Let me tell you why. Because all when you do wrong, nothing come out of it because you're covered. Come on, somebody. But there comes a time, this thing is deeper, can't go now. But there comes a time when God will break that blessing. And just as though you can come on, you can break a curse and become a blessing. You can break a blessing to a curse. Listen, if you don't go to church, come on, you're doing all right. Come on, somebody. Turn quick. Wake up, wake up. Someone say, gather the people. Sanctify the congregation. Mandaraba. Reflect. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Repent. Number two, hit me, hit me. We know. Number three, release, release. Number four, release, release, release. Release that brother who did you wrong. You're still bringing up what he did a year ago. That's evil. The only thing you can bring up is what happened today. Bring nothing to me about 
yesterday. Rabba, Hashaka, Baba, Baba. No, my office is empty. Come on, somebody here. Glory to God. Once a day pass. Fix it. Maka Shaka, you never hear nothing like this. Come on, some. Don't bother your pastor after a day pass. Release it. Release it. The Bible said you release it, you release it for yourself. It's not for them. You release the ulcer. You release the cancer. When you release that wrong, cancer rip from you. Come on, somebody here, Lord of God. Can, can, can I tell you? The Bible tells you that when you behave good, it's medicine. Come on, if you bother me, I'll give you the verse. Come on, somebody here, Lord. Of God. Your behavior, good behavior. Proper behavior is like injection in your body. Release it. Release them. Let her release them. Send them flowers. Come on, somebody. Send them Christmas cake. You're not talking to me. You know, you know. You're going to feel the tears in your mouth. You don't want any teaching here. Shake it by her, Sakata I said, release them. Hey, 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 release them. The worse it is, the quicker you release. The quicker. The one where you really can't release. <laughs> That's the one you release. Faster blessing. Quicker blessing. Come on, quicker outpouring. Quicker touch. Quicker healing. Quicker deliverance. Shake a baba hata baha raka shaka baba somebody say release them somebody say sanctify me lord somebody say sanctify the congregation god tell me that when i give you this word to 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 gather the people stick with the bible stick with the bible i'm sticking with the bible he said number one sanctify God of mercy here, yeah. the congregation. And how we do it again? Number one, soon we finish. Reflect. Come on. Number two, repent. Number three, renounce. <laughs> Number four, release. Number five for now, restore. <laughs> You're missing tides. Ooh. I'm telling you, I'm going to lie to you. The Lord revealed one person who owed the Lord $42,000. Check it, check it, check it. It's you, it's you. He hear most of you, thank God it's not me. <laughs> Interpretation, it means you owe a lot. That's all it means. You owe the Lord a lot. <laughs> Glory to God. You go up and say, the, <laughs> well, there's no tithes in the Bible. There's no tithes in the Testament. Oh, go ahead. You better pay that money. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Too much of restore. Too much of restore. Stand up, everybody. Stand up, everybody. Makasha. Restore what you took away from your friend. Restore, restore. Restore the hours you take away from your boss. Makasha. Add one more hour per day. Come on. Because you took away about a year. <laughs> oh my God, I'm mercy here. Someone says, Sanctify. Someone says, Sanctify. Yes, restore the relationship. Take the wrong. Take the wrong. And restore the relationship. Yes. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Mother Shaka Baba. Dear, listen, church. Listen, those watching. There are some things going on in the atmosphere that folks don't understand. And we are full of arrogance. We do things based upon our, our fleshly calculation. And we become no alls and, and we know what we're doing. But I hear God say, sanctify ourselves. Sanctify the congregation. 
for trouble is coming as a matter of fact it's not only the it's not only the flood that the lord revealed the lord revealed a major fire overwhelming the major part of a city i don't know if what happened in las vegas this weekend is maybe it or or, or, or a precursor so many dead in those apartments but a major fire is coming now i tell you this whenever god give revelation like flood and fire it means everything are you there it means you must be ready for everything because the bible said that there was a great gathering before the flood am i right and then there was a great the flood of noah then there was a great gathering before the fire of saddam am i right then there was a great gathering before the firstborn uh, of Egypt uh, as, 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 as a, a, a Pharaoh sought to persecute God's people. Am I right? You are right now on the brink <laughs> of persecution. Church people who don't understand the political uh, reverb who don't understand and say, oh, he's not saved. Let that happen to him. Blind, blind, blind. You always evaluate by the fruit. Is that the who is the who's? Is that the representative is who represented? Is that the who is who benefited? Come on, Shamba, you're not, you're not coming with me, you're not coming with me. <laughs> is that the who out there is who affected? Cyrus wasn't even saved. God didn't know him, but there's somebody God know. Come on, somebody. And he'll cause donkey to work for you. Come on, somebody. He'll cause the wicked to work for you. He'll cause the womanizer to work for you. He will cause the confused to so don't mess yourself. Don't miss it. Be hitting at a man. You look at the representation. The who's the beneficiary. Come on, somebody. Glory God. Glory God. So you have the great gathering before the flood of Noah. Then the great gathering before the fire of Sodom. Then the great gathering ha, before the firstborn. It's about to happen. You gotta catch the time. You gotta catch the time. The floods and the fires are in. The firstborn is coming. A lot of folks gonna die. They don't get it. And the ear has been clear. The ear is clear right now. Whatever you do, make sure you are in God. I tell the church, I tell the church, hallelujah. Get yourself together. It's not like it look. It's the same colors like yesterday. Glory to God. But it's not the same in the spirit. The angel that you can't see, the strong you can't see, the demons you can't see. The tr Listen, yesterday, a bus on its way to Disneyland. Church bus. Pentecostal. Church bus. Crash. Seven dead. For what? No, even if there's convention, they were going. For what? We need a church on the earth. Warning, what for them church trip? Come on, somebody. You see folks fighting for two years. You know, almost when you're driving and you're going out on the highway, you don't look over your shoulder and talk about you can't drive. You go on, on the highway, you rear view, you need to sit on stiff self. Rear view. Ha! You can't drive. You don't like me here. Some people are going to run out of here. You got to look over your shoulder. Your shoulder show the blind spot. Am I right, driver? You can drive for five years and nothing happen. And the one most time nothing gonna happen. Most time, most ninety nine. But one time, something else. You're dead. Huh? All the 
them warning. I may be here. These big church bus people dead for what? Where is the insight? Where is the foresight? Okay, you ain't got no insider. Why you don't stop for a while? Why you don't drop this for a while? Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Come on, somebody. Why you don't skip the crowd in one week for a while? Huh? Why you don't look for the church prophesying for a while? What are they? For what? Seven dead? For what? Saying is different. Get up in time. Oh, you see that? Shh, Baba. Shh, Baba. Open my eyes, Lord. Open my eyes. Open my eye, Lord. 